All right, this is a quick demo of how this demo React chat project works and how you can use it to create a custom React web chat using our libraries. So I'm going to just quickly configure my project here. If I go to the integration page and the dialog API and copy that API key, and I'm going to head to the cloned version of that project that I have, and I'm going to specifically create a .env.local file. And I'm going to set a value in there called VF underscore DM underscore API underscore key. I'm going to set that equal to the API key that I just copied. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to run yarn dev in that same folder in my command line. And that's going to show me a link to a running server. And if I visit that server, I can see there is a little chat bubble down in the bottom right corner. Clicking that brings up my assistant. And there we go. I'm into my voice flow pizzeria assistant. I'm hungry and it wants to know what toppings I want. Excellent. So just that easy to get a simple web chat running, but what if you want to customize it? What if you want to add a custom action? So let's go back to our canvas and let's take this custom action here where the name is hello and we have a JSON body. Let's take that, drop it into here and run the prototype. And then we will head back to our assistant and let's try interacting with our assistant again and see what we get. Okay, so it doesn't appear that anything happens and that's actually to be expected because this is an, a, a custom action type, pardon me, a custom action type, this hello type, it is not a uh, message that we know how to render in the React chat uh, library by default, but it is customizable so that you can do that. And the first way that you're gonna do that is you need to tell the runtime client about the custom action type and convert that custom action data into a message that can then be rendered. So this could actually turn it into just a normal text message. So if I push a type is text and text is just the trace payload. If I do that, then by default, it's able to take in this custom action with type hello and turn that into a message and display that on the screen. So let's head back and see what that looks like briefly. If I open this up, you can see it's typing and there we go. It's printed out the JSON body of that uh, custom action, but that's not probably going to be what we want. We probably want something a little bit more complex to maybe show some UI inline here that is capable of something special. So we can do that by just registering a custom message type, basically. We're going to have to cast this as any in TypeScript, but in JavaScript, this won't matter. In the future, we'll probably have a better typing for this. But, but the, what this will do is will allow us to say this incoming uh, trace with type hello, this custom action, we're going to convert that into a special message with a special type so that we can render that with a special component. So we're going to call this a calendar message. And the payload here, this data, is just going to be the parsed version of that trace payload so that we get an actual object out of that that we can operate on. All right, so that's not all, though. That updates us to a new message type, but by default, we're not capable of rendering that message. So it will just be skipped like that. We won't have anything to print out. So if we want to render that, what we'll need to do is we'll need to override the rendering for the system response, specifically this message component within it, which is the little bubble that renders in the actual chat dialog. So here we're saying the message is going to be based on the props, either this, if this case is true, otherwise we'll fall back to the default, which is the system response default system message. So basically we're matching on the message type being our custom message type calendar. And if that's the case, we're going to try to render a calendar component. So let's just introduce that calendar component again and head back over here and open that up and see what we get. So now there we go. Not very nicely styled, but we get this custom calendar component that shows up inline. Um, we could reuse some of our message components to make this a little bit nicer, make sure we have a, you know, a, a time stamp still on the right or a little avatar on the left. But by default, this is very powerful, allows you to do basically whatever you want inline in the message, uh, which is a very powerful way of extending the React Chat library. And there you go, that's the example.